far we walked, we're still in the South End. But we're hours away from the pier. So that's quite an area though, this area. I just want to see what's the end. <clears throat> it's tempting to go further and further and further though, isn't it? But yeah. The waves are a bit more rougher down there. But this is South End and the weather's really nice. Too nice. I don't want to got two tops on for. Let me see what little added surprise they got for us at the end of her. This part here. Despite it's a far way out. What have a little surprise we have? It'd be nice to see something really cool, right? Seeing spect spectacular shop wise and entertainment, but we'll see what's at the end. Be interesting. One exception, the beach is nice. The sun's out. You see the pier right in the distance. With the rocks here. Sea defence wall. It's some sort of shop at the end. Quite expensive, but I've never been this far. This bit cuts out into the English Channel, just see right at the end. I can't believe I've come this far. And this is still south end. It's quite a walk though. I'll give you that. But it's nice to see, because it said, look, it's this South End, the borough. That's how we know we're in South End. So you can say we saw more of South End than the It's not just the town. And it's just nice to walk along here. Despite it's a bit of a trek, I recommend you guys to do it. Come on, you get views like this. Do it while the weather's nice. This week we've got nice weather, haven't we? And next week. So make the most of it. You don't want to miss out. This is, this is really lovely here. I think it's a really nice Instagram photo. Let's, let's put it away. Let's get to the end. Well, I've got this far with a pointy thing in the distance. And there's a sack of gardens over there. I'm going to go and check it out. Yeah, we've actually made it to the end. Finally, we've come quite a way. Brave enough to walk, well, two hours in this direction. We come to this Coast Card, which is here. This is Gunners Park. This is the coastal line. And there's a Coast Guard. If you wonder what that was. You read some information about this area. It's about the South End's a long way now. It says that Romans salt work and Iron Age settlement along here. We're going to work our way up there and have a look along there and see what's up there. Because it looks interesting. Right, it is now. Lunchtime, we've got to find somewhere to sit. Um, that's two hours to get back anyway. The more further I get, the longer I've got to get back. Obvious. Uh, but I'm going to work that out anyway. Oh, anyway. I've got to find somewhere to eat. What can we see? Let's have a look. What shall we see? This is dangerous, I think. You have to jump over here. This is Gunners Park. There needs to be a flag on here. Put a thing up in here. Nice walking area. See, this, you can't get to this bit by train. You can only get to it by car. But walking here is worth it. Look at that, just look at that. The south end looks near, but that's the end of the pier. And that's quite a way out. Views, let's see, I'll find somewhere to sit along here. Here's the Coast Guard. I don't know if it's an operation though. But that's the Coast Guard. I can't see no one in the tower. But the views here are just amazing. This beach is out the way as well. Way out the way. If you want something out the way, not worry about anything, I recommend to come along here. It's different. I don't think you can walk on that bit because it's blocked off. I do recommend the trek, despite it costs, it took two hours to get here. I do recommend it. Back by the sea. It's that urge of carrying on and carrying on. And I've already uh, given a shout out to Sack 
Holland. But why not again? At this far end. There we are. See it there. That's the sweet The views are amazing. Perfect for Instagram when you make appreciate it. Despite the really wind, you don't know what's it. But it's lovely. It's not that crazy wind, it's like light wind. here and then I'm going to walk back where I came from but in a different direction not the same way the direction I went I'm just curious what's the end it goes around and around it carries on forever and ever and ever and ever facts too, but interesting. German planes would come across here, all along here, drop magnetic bombs all along the shores, all along here. And when ships come across, they would explode. I see one sinking out there apparently. There's one, one sunken out there. And uh, telling you not to touch anything. Just look. Just telling you, do not touch any military debris, it may explode and kill you. Basically on this beach. So you're taking your own place. That's why well, you can go on this beach. And also over here, you've got to be careful as what's bordered off. This area has been evacuated, checked and everything. But yeah, it's a risk. That's why they're saying don't put some matters to bomb in like a boom, you know. Yeah, imagine you know, all the ships come on and get destroyed. Those birds I didn't know they were called on the, on the sea. They're called red shanks. Just saw signs, let me know. Is that a fancy case about the king's blocked off? It's blocked off, you can't go on it, you're not allowed to. It's for the nature itself. But also, um, since the magnetic bombs come down, some of the debris are still here. It's quite considered dangerous. Very dangerous. So, yeah, very risky area. There's a fault further up, and we're going to check that fault out. We said we're going to come back, but no. Let's check this fault out, then go back. We hope to check further out next time. Because there's so much to check out. There's a fault in the castle or something further on. Let's check the time. Oh, it's so tempting though, isn't it? We've come across a nice nature reserve here. I can chill out here if I wanted to. No, but we're checking that fault out. And up at the end. If it's worth visiting, I'll let you know. Let's check them out. And the beach is just over here. So if I go up, hello, look, the beach is just here. South end, there's way, way down there. Look at about three miles now. Oh, those birdies I was telling you about. All chilling out on the water's edge. Now check that fort out and we can check that one out. And then go back. We're not going further afield than that. As uh, we will get back late and the shops will probably be shut then. <laughs> I just want to get a donut. Let's do that. Let's go further. Let's go that way. See what we can find. I think it's time to explore this fort down, don't you think? You see people have been here with the graffiti. Can I get a set of border down there? See if there's information about it before I go to it. Information to, to just t to say what it is all about. My pigeons in there, though. Lots of pigeons in there. Oh my gosh, I wonder if there's a way in there. Lots of pigeons in there. Let's get out the flash. I can't see a way in there actually. Yeah, you can see inside all the pigeons. But I don't think there's a way in there anyway. You can only walk around the fort apparently. You can't go inside it. 
Is this is the main entrance anyway. Mm. There's a lot of pigeons in there. Mm. I can see why they get in there. Nice little hideout for them though, let's put it away. Mm. There's wildlife, there's plenty here. There's all the birds in there. I'm gonna chat away. I'm gonna check the other one out, I don't know what the other one's all about. Well, we have travelled away, a very long way, and then the channel's right over there. We've travelled that far. What a mission. I don't know what these barriers are sticking up in the, in, in the water. But this is so true. I thought just down here, but well, we checked this on the way back, this one just here, down there. <coughs> we still at the sea. Not far from that one just there. There's, there's more buildings along there. I don't want to go too far. It's so intriguing just to keep walking. It's nice out here. Look how wide open it is as well. I'm going to trek down there. I'll show that fourth thing. But I want to show you this one here. I can see that's boarded up. I don't know what the hell it is though. Well, that's pretty awesome. It's out of the way. It's literally out of the way. I'll take my way, wait my way back to South End in a minute. After this bit. So what else we discover on a different path? This beach is still unsafe. The Ministry of Defence are telling you not to go down there. Because uh, if you said that military don't touch it because they said it might explode. So is that your that you're on risk really, when you think about it? Got it here, it's a sign here. Right here. There's a boom I mean in there as well, so you've got to be very careful. There's lots of steps as climbs up there. I wonder there's a way in somewhere. So just to explore it. But it's all boarded up the looks of it. Which is annoying. It's so exciting. Anybody local people know, let us know. <coughs> it's not my area. Got to zoom around two circles here, I don't know what was here. So I should be assuming there's a whole building coming out here. <coughs> but that's really nice though. There's a way in somewhere, but they've blocked it all off. That's pretty epic though. Beach on here. Not further than any further. But yes, it's pretty awesome. It is. <coughs> it's a danger, unsafe building. It's always to keep out. But yes, it's pretty sick. To come out this far and see it. Wow, it's pretty cool. Curiosity, what's it like inside, you know what I mean? Because it's pretty cool. Steel doors, eh? Look at the building. Completely abandoned, obvious. And you can't go in there. There's no way to climb up either. But it says it's unsafe. I'm sure it's awesome inside. Pretty awesome. Whatever it was. And no one knows what it was. If any locals know, comments below. It looks like it's meant to be blocked off, but apparently it's not. There's someone destroyed the fence. <laughs> so it gives you that opportunity to come in here. But we're very careful though, because it's military based. Awesome. Just to come in here. And check it out, whatever it was, it's like a gun fault sort of thing. It's got to be, isn't it? That's pretty awesome, though. No? Nice to come in here. How awesome can it get? And this is in South End, just a few more, a few hours walk up the road. You get to see this. Oh, yes. 
I presume something to do with fishes, fishing minnows. They've got hooks here. As you can see, they've got hooks. They must be used for something, it's like for storage. Could be for something to do with fishing, something to do with the war. We well, keep saying Ministry of Fence, so it's got to be something to do with the army. Interesting. Here's those noisy birds again. There's another one here. in there at all. There are steps to go up. Something used to be here. Let's check it out. I see. A bit of roof on top. See, we saw the one we couldn't get in. Nice bit of venture there. Been more since I've done something like this. I really can't even tell it's boarded up. Oh, I've got steps here at all. It just leads to the top and look at the view. We've got to make our way back to South End now. This is the most noisy birds in the tree. You can hear them. Cat. Very interested. <laughs> Noisy birds. We estimated it, it's going to take just three o'clock to get to uh, the south end, the main area. That's a two and a half hour trek back down this way. We'll see. Not so windy on this side because the tide's coming in now. As you can see, that the tide is coming in. Well, it's a bit of a trek to South End, anyway. A bit of a trek, but it's a nice. I did stop a few times because uh, I needed a rest. I needed shoes out, my, stones out of my shoes. <laughs> but I'm making our way down now. Still a way to go yet, despite it feels close. Always random beach hut, beach hut roofs, all different, all different designs. I don't know why they're done though. All different. Very different. The wind guys, if you can see up here, I see it about the south end pier, it stretches all the way out to the end, a mile long. It's a bit more than a mile long. Yeah. Windy. It's a bit awkward now. Oh, not the wind. It's too choppy, guys. I'm going to show you the other side of uh, the seaside later. I'm going to go look at our shops and stuff. See if anything's nice. I want to get some donuts. But the view. I'm going to check the view. There we are. Look at that. We've tried quite a bit because we've tried all the way, way over there. You can only say you've gone to South End if you've walked South End. Because if you go to the main part of South End, apparently that's South End Central. Despite it's South End on the sea. Which gives us a seaside resort and everything. But yeah, if you only really go to South End, walk it. Then you've done it. You can only say that if you've walked South End, as in you've walked quite a bit of it. Other than that, you've only been to South End on the sea. 
of South End Central, which is the town. Not far to go now. Oh, sick. It's quite taking on a slow stroll back. Here's our fires and how windy it is still. This is crazy. About to find some nice places to eat. It's changing South End. <coughs> Excuse me, it's just dry. <laughs> it's a wind. I'm sorry about this. Yeah, that's changing. Crazy golf outside. Too windy to play it. Now we're going to see what shops they have. Interesting. <laughs> 